Huh, you know, I was gonna put in some background music because back some background music might be good. But you hear them, you hear the birds chirping. Kinda perfect, isn't it? Hello book questers, it is I, Aaron the book quester. So today I'm here with this book, Gary Paulson's The River. It's the second book in the Hatchet series. And of course it's not like, it's not a very high level book as I would say. But it is incredibly enjoyable and a very good read. So well, let's get right on to it. So I am in the middle of Jeju Island's nice nature forests and i don't see any people yeah it's very nice around here and of course the river is about a river too bad i can't find river but you know i i think this is good enough so what basically happens is that we all remember brian's hatchet adventure he was trapped he his bush plane crashed his um plane guy had a heart attack he crashed in the, in the L-shaped lake, and he had to survive next to the lake for, what, two months, I believe? Then, this time, he needs to return. Why? Because some instructors, some survival instructors, they are saying that um, they want to know how he did it, basically. Some people in their line of work, in government's line of work, need to know how to survive in the wilderness without any kind of equipment. So, they want to see how they did it, so they could train themselves to do it and teach others to do the same. But an unexpected disaster hits. Him, Brian, and Derek goes into similar river, that, I mean similar lake, that Brian used to live in. There, he makes a, he makes, um, he makes a shelter, he catches food, and to be honest with you, it's not that hard. And to Brian, it's not the same. There's no sense of urgency. And if they just called the radio, they could just get out. And it didn't really matter. And it wasn't creating really the same situation that he had. And that meant that it was all fake, as he called it. But a storm hits, and a lightning bolt hits the, hits the tree. And Derek is unconscious. And he seems to be in a coma. And Brian did not know if he would wake. And he knew that in a week or so, people would come on to check on them. But a week might be too late for Derek. So what he does, he makes a raft to go along a river to find the, a trading outpost that is marked out on the map. And if they went there, there will be people. And people could probably radio some people and take Derek to a hospital. So Brian using all his wit and intelligence, and oh boy, oh boy, he wished he had his hatchet. He used his knives to cut wood. Well, he didn't really cut wood, I mean, the beavers had already cut a lot of wood. It is in Canada, so yeah. And he managed to make a raft, and with our dear Derek on tow, he goes to find a trading post. Can he find it, save Derek's life, and him, Return to the modern world? Well, only one way to find out. Finish the book. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Yeah, if I imagine second nature, I, I would say it isn't that bad. But think about it. Pitch black, without any kind of electric light. You're cold, you're being stung by mosquitoes, no repellent. Yeah, I think it'll be tough. So, yeah, and I'm a city boy. Although I do like nature, I really don't want to be, you know, shipwrecked in an island. So yeah, goodbye, have a good day.